So we're here at Six Lazy like Travis. I'm one of the head professors here. I uh, really like this training, 6.30 in the morning. It's a good way to wake up the body, shoot the, the, the dopamine to the body, you start the day right. And I like the way that he, he, he plans class, very, very, very structured. And he likes to, uh, be, lately been focusing a lot on like movement, which is good for my division, which is one thing that I tend to stand out among the other ultra heavies. It's just good uh, to tune in and like always fix some details, you know. Break a good sweat to have some big guys here. So, great way to start the morning, yeah. Okay, get your starting position. Go. BG Stars is next. I feel very excited for that one because it's a 60 main bracket. And the way I think of it is like, sometimes when you go to Worlds, Brazilian Nationals or Pants, you can't get all of them together because each person has their own phases. They're injured, they're, they can't travel, something like that. But we just started was able to put the perfect absolute uh, together in Brazil. So very excited for the, for, for the, for the, for the absolute racket. Having fought in the Gizzi's Worlds, so that doesn't mean that uh, I haven't been working, I've been working a lot on my game. And uh, winning Worlds, the way that I won, just made me work way more to fix some mistakes and come back stronger. Short, short time, short time. So I think last time I competed in Brazil was uh, BG Stars for Eric Muniz. We would, would love to have this rematch, uh, this next tournament. He has a uh, great phase. I think it will be a great matchup. At 7 in the morning, we just finished uh, the first training. Now we're going to go up to conditioning, do some conditioning, and uh, I think today we're doing some plyometrics. You know, big man has also hoops, quick on the feet. Uh, that's something that I've been working a lot too. Uh, become more athletic and all that, see how that can match up with uh, my division, my game. Hey, Philippe, what's your uh, signature move, you think? Triangle. You think your move triangle? Victor, yeah. what, what do you think your signature move is? Uh, triangle. Triangle. So it's difficult, Philippe. <laughs> Rush, what's your signature? Uh, the counter to the triangle. <laughs> <laughs> um, I met Shanji through a mutual friend. 
and he reached out and said, hey, could I help and uh, work with uh, some of these young fighters. What's the work been like so far? Well, it's been going well. Um, these guys, uh, I mean, not to throw any shade on it, but I feel like jiu-jitsu is uh, like 1950s strength conditioning. It's really, it's really uh, pretty archaic. So, um, you know, my history, I played in the NFL uh, for a decade. And then we pretty much traveled the world and, and uh, I mean, trained tens of thousands of athletes, military stuff, professional athletes, Olympic athletes. And uh, I was um, not shocked, but surprised, like, jiu-jitsu is so far behind. Uh, today's a dynamic strength day, so it's all, it's going to be all plyo-based. So it's all going to be dynamic movement. So we pretty much evolved the template um, into something that looks like they bang heavyweights, then they're going to do something fast, a lot of compensatory acceleration. Uh, compensatory acceleration as mechanical advantage increases, so to speed. So working on just basically their striking and a lot of that type of movements. Uh, they do so much work on the mat that I'm not trying to replicate what they do on the mat here in the weight room. I'm trying to train them like professional athletes. They got to be strong, they got to be stable, they got to be able to move through space. Uh, they have to be strong in different planes of motion, they got to be able to jump rope, they got to be able to move their feet. Um, so I just started training them like I would like uh, professional athletes. And uh, the amount of progress they've made is fantastic. Um, you know, not only the, with their conditioning, but their strength that they've done. Um, I think it's going to take a couple years for Jiu-Jitsu to kind of catch up and to kind of get to what we're doing, where we're training them like NFL players or other professional athletes. So I'm excited to see what they do. Nice. Under the flows. Go! Speed! As far as like maybe um, first or second round, I, I was really looking forward to maybe face Cyborg or Adam Oziskin. Uh, those two guys have a little bit of a history with them. Adam, I, I fought him my first year as a black belt, he was able to beat me, we had a really good match, so I think it was a good matchup. Cyborg, you compete a lot of times in no gi, but never in a gi. I want to see how my gi game uh, changed a little bit between like the no gi game, because we, so, we had so many matches in no gi, so I want to see what's different if we do in the gi, you know? So yeah, those two matches, maybe first, second round. I know there's a lot of like, Unknown names there, people that are coming up from the brown from the brown belt, which you can't you can't ignore them, you know, they come with a new energy. I myself have a good printing partner here, Felipe Costa, he's the one that pushes me a lot and he gives me that vibe of like oh it's my first year. Uh, I wanna show something, so it's always like a, a good war. So that makes me also watch out for those guys there. But whoever come wh whoever comes my way, I'm ready. I'm really excited. Um, coming back to Brazil, coming back to fight Gi, I think it's, it's just the, the, the perfect the perfect uh, occasion, you know. Thank you. 